Hey, this is Nile Rogers for FNAC. Ty Rogers, qui avec son partenaire Bernard Edwards a écrit l'histoire de la musique avec la chic organisation, a fait des disques avec des gens aussi divers que Sister Sledge, Sheila, Madonna, Durand Durand, beaucoup, beaucoup, beaucoup d'artistes, Etienne Dao, Daft Punk donc. Et merci de faire un peu d'applaudissement pour M. Nile Rogers. From the jazz age, Duke Ellington. En Amérique, uh, quand les artistes du jazz comme Duke Ellington, Count uh, Basie, uh, uh, when, when these Count artists Basie, had success, avaient du succès, they came to Europe and they were treated better than they were treated in America. Ils en Europe, ils avaient un meilleur, ils étaient mieux reçus qu'ils étaient aux États-Unis. And when Josephine Baker came to France, she was treated almost like a queen. Quand Josephine Baker est venue en France, on l'a traitée comme une reine. So we thought, what would happen? If in America they thought that we were a funk band that had come from France. Alors on s'est dit qu'est-ce qui se passerait si en Amérique ils pensaient qu'on était un groupe de funk qui venait de la France. We figure that we could cut out the racist middleman and just. On s'est dit comme ça, on éliminerait tout le racisme. And we would just be cool right away. On serait juste cool comme ça là tout de suite direct. And and it was funny because it actually worked. Ce qui est marrant c'est que ça a vraiment marché. They it, people in America would go well. Uh, Is that just a regular black band? Les gens aux États-Unis disaient c'est juste un groupe noir classique normal. And they, they, we would go no, they're French. They would go oh French, well, then they're cool. On est français, ah français, ça c'est cool. <laughs> What are they called? Chick. Comment ils s'appellent? Chic. And they said no, it's chic. They were okay, cool, non, chic, 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 whatever, it's fine. Ouais, cool, cool, super, peu importe, c'est bien, c'est cool. So uh, that that was the concept, and and um, uh, and on on uh, on our first album cover. C'est ça notre concept, et sur la pochette du premier album, we, we put models on, the cover, on a mis like des mannequins. Uh, like uh, Roxy Music, Brian Ferry. Comme faisait Roxy Music, Brian Ferry. <laughs> so we figure we were chic, and we had chicks, and we were cool. Donc on était chic, on avait des meufs, et tout était cool. <laughs> and people didn't know whether we were chic or chick, but it was cool. Um, and from that mystery... We've always had a connection to France and French artists. I've perf I've done records with Sheila years ago, Spacer. I've done records with uh, uh, Chet Bami, Claude Nougaro, Daft Punk, Etienne Daho. I mean, like lots and lots of records. And every record I've done, I'm very proud. It's nothing that I feel embarrassed about. I'm, you know, when I did Spacer, I didn't even know who Sheila was. And when I listen to the record now, I'm very, very proud. So that's my, that's my souvenir is, is the work that I get to do. But of course I love being associated with jazz festivals uh, for the last few years um, that's been the the backbone of all of the chic gigs that we've been doing we've been playing at large festivals it's been incredible Brian Ferry if it wasn't for Brian Ferry if it wasn't for Roxy Music there would be no chic that was our inspiration um, so anytime I can work anywhere near Brian or hang out with him um, I'm thrilled My relationship with Daft Punk is so good. It's um, it's it's almost hard to explain. You know, we met 17 years ago uh, when they were doing their first album. They came to New York, and I was invited to uh, the listening party. So we pulled each other aside, and they were telling me how much they respected Chic, and they were also. Um, consoling me because my partner had recently died, Bernard Edwards. And um, so they said that in their hearts, they dedicate their first record to us. And we, and we were talking and we've tried to get together to make music afterwards. And then many years passed, 16 years passed, and I get a phone call and, um, and it was Thomas. And he says, hey, now we're in New York. Um, you want to come down and play on our record? And I was like, sure, I, I love to play on records. But before you do that, we want to come over and explain it to you. 
So they came to my apartment, explained to me what the concept was. I was like, dude, of course, this is perfect. Uh, I'd love to do this. I went down to the studio. I was only supposed to play on one song. So we played the one song, and then they said to me, um, can you approach this music, can you approach this song as uh, the same way you did back in the day, like as if the internet didn't exist? So basically what they were trying to say was, without the aid of the technology, because in the old days, technology limited us, so we had to work around it. So... I went in and I played as perfect as I could. <laughs> Alors j'y suis allé, j'ai joué aussi parfaitement que je le pouvais. And then it was so exciting to them because I showed them how I would do it. C'est leur tellement plus de quand ils ont vu comment je le faisais, comment comment je jouais. The first the first song was uh, Get Lucky and I don't remember exactly what we did. C'était Get Lucky, je me rappelle pas exactement ce qu'on a fait mais But I I started doing like j'ai fait ça. And then I did that, and they were like, "What?" J'ai fait ça, ils ont fait quoi? And then I did, and then I played on top, and I played. Uh, while I was playing it, and they were like, oh, "J'ai rajouté ça quand je jouais, ils sont dit, oh, merde." And then we kept going, and as soon as I finished that, they said, "On a continué dès que j'ai fini, ils m'ont fait." We have another song. <laughs> On a une autre chanson. <laughs> and then I did the same thing. And then he said, uh, we have another chose. song. Ils ont dit, On en a une troisième. And I said, I gotta go. I got a life. I gotta go. Je dis, faut que je me parle. J'ai une vie aussi. Hein. <laughs> The first time I heard um, Rapper's Delight, la première fois que j'ai entendu Rapper's Delight de Sugar Hill Gang, I was in a nightclub, um, and I thought that the DJs had made um, a dub mix. Of Je pensais que le DJ avait fait un dub mix de Good Times. And I thought that they were in the booth rapping over the dub mix. Je pensais que le DJ était dans la cabine en train de rapper par dessus un dub de Good Times. And then I looked on my right. And he was standing there with a small bottle of champagne. DJ avec une petite bouteille de champagne, tranquille, au calme. And when I saw him there with the bottle, I was like, "How the hell are you doing that?" Comment tu fais ça là? And then I heard these three voices coming in. Et j'ai entendu ces trois voix qui débarquent. And I was like, "Yo, what is what is that?" C'est quoi le truc là? And he said, uh, "Let me show you. I just bought this attends, today je, je in Harlem." Je, je viens d'acheter ça aujourd'hui à Harlem. And uh, and I looked at the record and I didn't hear I didn't see my name. J'ai regardé on it. le disque, j'ai pas vu mon nom sur le disque. <laughs> um, and obviously I got upset. Et bien sûr, ça m'a un petit peu embêté. <laughs> I didn't complain to him. He had to do it. Hein, lui c'était pas de sa faute. Hein. But uh, I looked at the name on the record. Mais j'ai regardé les noms sur le disque. People down. Euh, on a essayé de traquer les, de, de trouver ces gens. Hello. This is Nile Rodgers and Bernard Edwards. Bonjour, c'est Nile Rodgers et Bernard Edwards. <laughs> Not only did you steal our bass line, vous avez pas juste volé notre ligne de basse, hein. but this is before sampling, so Parce we que knew avant that le sample, hein. a DJ had to take our record, the bon, original bon, Good Times, avec un DJ avait dû prendre notre go, disque, l'original et faire in real time. So um, about two weeks later, after we told them we were suing them, donc deux, deux semaines après, on leur a dit qu'on leur faisait un procès. Hein. Four guys came to the studio. Il y a quatre mecs qui sont venus au studio. <laughs> des grands mecs. Ils avaient des flingues. <laughs> And they said, uh, we, we came to try and appeal to your Et Ils ont dit on est venu pour discuter pour que voir si tu revenais à tes esprits. They said uh, Even if you win this lawsuit, Ils m'ont dit, même si tu lose. gagnes ce procès, tu vas perdre. Et nous avons dit, 
If we let you take on good dit, bah, times, oui, si, nous, si on te laisse prendre good times, uh, why not take the freak? Alors, we are family. He's autres, the greatest the freak, dancer, uh, spacer, every single thing that we had done because this was 1979. We had all tout ce these qu'on a fait parce que c'était 79, on avait tous ces disques qui étaient sortis. So we kept the lawsuit going. Donc on a continué le procès malgré tout. And I think that their sense of intelligence, je pense que leur sens, made, leur, leur made intelligence. Uh, It became clear to them because enfin, Rappers Delight was ça a été clair pour eux parce que Rappers Delight as euh, a inch. c'était juste un maxi 45 tours Three times the price of a regular single. trois fois le prix d'un 45 tours normal It sold more copies than Good Times, which was already a double platinum single. Et ça a vendu single. plus d'exemplaires que Good Times, qui était pourtant déjà un single double platine. Do you understand how much money that is? Vous imaginez combien de fric ça représente? <laughs> They finally came to our office with a box of cash. Ils ont fini par venir à notre bureau avec une, une valise de cash. And a new contract with the copyright with our et, name et on it. Et un nouveau contrat avec nos noms dessus. <rires> Nile Rogers, merci beaucoup. Maintenant, ça va être les dédicaces. Merci d'applaudir Nile Rogers. C'est quelqu'un qui, qui m'a marqué, euh, qui, euh, qui, me, qui me marque encore aujourd'hui. Et euh, enfin, c'est quelqu'un qui m'a donné envie de jouer de la guitare. C'est quelqu'un qui vraiment, enfin, je, je, je suis intarissable en matière de superlatif parce que c'est, 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 vraiment, le, c'est vraiment un génie. Et puis de, de le voir si simple, si abordable, si modeste, si humble, alors que c'est vraiment un génie, quoi. Euh, je pense qu'il y a, il y a, il y a, il y a, il y a quelques, il y a quelques, comment dire, de, artistes non talentueux qui bénéficient d'une exposition médiatique inversement proportionnelle à leur talent, qui, de, qui devrait en prendre de la graine, quoi. I was coming home late one dark afternoon. Reporter stopped me for an interview. She said she's heard stories and she's heard fables that are vicious on the mic and the turn.